What's up, YouTube? Uh, Spencer Smoot again, driving up to Trekkie. I'm going to stop at Summit's house. Focus, focus. Um, yeah, so we got to kind of lean over to the left a little bit because my uh, phone thing, the jig, and my car wants me to, or it can't, can't fit in any other fan or vent except for the one on the left, and I have to kind of like lean, lean with it, but whatever. Uh, just making video, uh, keep promises, right? So I want to talk about a little bit of stuff today. Uh, today is the day, the first day that I'm done, done, done. Uh, no more obligations. I just I have to move out, but that's not, I'm not really seeing that as an obligation of school. Uh, yesterday I graduated. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I talked about that yesterday. Um, it was before before graduation. Uh, what we did, I went to graduate and then broke down a couple times. Uh, well, multiple times after I graduated and walked. Um, just because it was just emotional release of just a whole bunch of shit. Uh, I went through hell getting my degree. Um, I, it was just a bad, bad time, you know, it was, mental health stuff was bad for the, at least three years, um, I was in school for eight years total, so mental health was bad for about three years, um, and then, uh, it was actually longer than that, now that I think about it, uh, I've been, I've been bad mentally for, kind of since I got out of the military, I just been, been trying to like, oh, it's not bad, or I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm all right. So, uh, now it's square one, right? It's square zero. Um, or negative, uh, if you count the mental health thing. Not that it's like, you know, it's, mental health is an interesting, an interesting thing. So, by the way, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at, you know, drive safe and watch the road. I just have sunglasses on because uh, that's how I roll. So anyway, um, yeah, just, just, uh, you know, trying to figure out what life is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I have plans, you know, I have to be a millionaire. Uh, and we're back. I, my phone just fell off the thing. Uh, this is not the best solution, but I don't have a better solution right now, uh, and I need to upload, so... I'm uploading every day. Uh, when I say keeping promise to myself, uh, what that means, I, I went through, I went through a lot of, um, well, I, how to say it? I, I, I'm someone that doesn't keep promises to myself, and I, I, I try to keep promises to other people more often. Um, you know, I'm, I try to be a man of my word to other people. But to myself, I kind of just let be whatever. So what I'm doing with this with uh, YouTube is to I, I said I want to upload every single day um, until whenever I decide not to. Uh, and what that means is it's probably going to be at a million, um, and then we'll see what happens in there, where where I'm at there. I'll re reevaluate. So um, I. Uh, you know, more about me, I take, I, I do lofty things, or I try to do lofty goals, I have lofty goals, um, I just hit traffic, yeah, yeah, so lofty goals, uh, you know, hitting a million, or how to make a million, or be a millionaire, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy, people say I'm crazy, but the thing is that I feel like I can, I feel like I can, so I'm doing it, um, I've told myself I can't so many damn gone times, uh, so many damn times that, uh, um, you know, I, I, I'm winning. Like, I'm, I'm just like, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do what I want to do and how I can do it. So, um, oh, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. accident. Um, yeah, so, yeah, lofty goals and, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. My my mind is kind of reeling uh, and trying to figure out what's next. You know, I don't know what to do with my hands type thing. It would graduation, 
Uh, this is the second biggest transition of my life. First was out of the military, still transitioning. Now I'm transitioning out of school, you know, mission complete. Um, the thing is that, yeah, I just have to start. I just have to start. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, today I kind of wanted to talk about more about uh, what my what my goals are, uh, also what my faults are, or at least two of my faults um, currently that I'm gonna uh, work on. Um, you know, uh, one the first fault that I have and the first uh, addiction that I have that I want to tackle is smoking. I'm a I'm a smoker. I've been smoking since Iraq. And uh, since 2011, so that's been what, 2009. So it's uh, no, I, I went to Iraq in 2008-09, So it's been 10 years. Uh, you know, I've been I've been smoking cigarettes. So I want to stop. I want to stop it. Uh, so that's the that's the first thing. Um, and it kind of culminates into the next thing of just being healthy, healthy mind, uh, or healthy body, healthy healthy mind. That's what I've heard. Um, I will see. I've never really been healthy uh, in in the military. I was in shape because it's a it's a requirement of the job. But I did I wasn't healthy. I was eating a whole bunch of crap. Um, one of the things with with me that I picked up along the way of growing up is uh, food is a crutch for me. Food is a thing that I uh, I comfort eat. You know, I've been comfort eating for a while. I just um, yeah, I, I'm realizing that more and more, uh, what, what food means to me and I have to change my relationship with food. Uh, and that's, that's a huge thing. Uh, that's a huge thing to tackle. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what happens with it. Um, other than that, smoking wise, uh, I'm just going to do cold turkey. You know, I, um, think I'm going to do that today or tomorrow, um, or the next day. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like hedging, but um, I kind of, I need, the thing is that the reason I'm kind of hedging is that I know that I need like some time by myself with it for the first few days. Um, and the thing is that, you know, obligations of family and stuff, like I'm going up to Truckee to hang out with the fam uh, because they came, they came for my graduation yesterday and they went up there this morning. I'm going to, you know, I, I was like, Hey, I want to kind of chill out and I just chill for for uh, for some of the day, uh, and not just you know keep on moving, 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 um, and kind of reflect and and do some stuff. So I did that. I did that, and now I'm heading up, and I got uh, got in some traffic, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, uh, body wise, body image wise, you know it's not too good. I was looking at video or pictures of my graduation. I didn't realize how big I am. It's kind of a crazy thing of uh, how how um, how I feel and I think I'm smaller than I am. I know I'm big, but I've always been told that I'm big, right? Uh, but it's more about like like how much really how much fat I have on my body. Like I have a lot of fat on my body. Um, I, if I was big and like lean, that would be a complete different thing, right? Uh, I weigh about 280 some pounds. I'll do a weigh in uh, one of these days. Um, and I'm, when I get my schedule going, I'm, I'm really thinking about what's, what my schedule is for YouTube and what, what it is for um, what to tackle on which days, you know, of the week. Um, yeah, let's get my schedule going uh, or, and, and also to do like a weigh-in. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, 280, I think. Uh, last, time, last time I did that, I weighed that much. Um, and that's strictly, that's from... Uh, me trying to survive in school. So what I did was, especially the last quarter, right, I, I float I float around on addictions. Um, my last quarter was me going, you know, at nine o'clock at night, getting a whole bunch of junk food, coming home, getting high. Um, so I, you know, smoked weed or smoking weed, and then ate, um, and it made me feel better at the time. Uh, but long term effects uh, cause fat growth. Um, so know that about junk food, uh, if you didn't know already. So that's the main, main thing about it. Um, you know, with the smoking thing, cold turkey, I, I've, I've read this book before. I, I stopped smoking before, um, and then the stress got too much for me. And the thing is that I, I don't know how to deal with stress. 
Um, it's one of the things that's kind of funny about you know being in the military is that it's a high level of stress, but we don't really get training about how to deal with stress. So you know most of the time, people in the military either drink their stress away, um, fight their stress away, uh, or smoke uh, cigarettes their stress away. Right? They and and um, none of those are healthy habits. So yeah, uh, and that's that's that. Uh, so I want to I want to start creating more healthy habits for myself. Uh, be you know just be kinder to myself in general. Um, it's been you know it's just you know when when I I was the thing is with this with school I felt trapped I felt trapped and then um, you know I beat myself up of, about being trapped. You know I, I was like oh you you did this or you know um, you know you you're not good enough for stuff and stuff like that negative self talk. And I'm getting out of that. Um, so, yeah. So that's that's that thing. Uh, and then also uh, for my health, for for it working out, I've been uh, I've been on a kind of a boxing kick recently. I think. Uh, I mean, just seeing like. I mean, now it's more popular. Uh, it has been more popular in a long. In a, um, it's been. It's now. It's it's popular now. Uh, you know, like Deontay Wilder, is that his name? I think so. And the uh, Jason Fury and stuff. Those guys, those cats, kind of like brought more excitement to it. Never been really into boxing, but then seeing how they move, how they kind of move around the ring, have uh, have physical awareness. That's something that I I have. It's physical awareness, except for like how big I am. But I do like I do like do steps and things like that around people and and stuff like that. Um, and it's I don't it's kind of a weird kind of relation, uh, but it's just moving, just moving. So I think I might pick that up. I've never been in a martial sport before. I'm a, it's funny enough I do, I've never been in a fist fight before. Uh, I got punched in the face a couple of times. Um, you know, funny stories wise, I I boxed my cousin once, uh, and he punched me in the face, and I was like, okay, cool, like with gloves on. And I was like, "Cool, this is not for me." And then in uh, in a uh, basic, not basic training, at my unit, wise they were they uh, trained some people on level one combatives. And then at the end of that, uh, you have to go through somebody's uh, you know barrage of punching, and then take them down and, and then get them into a hold. Uh, and I uh, I got punched in the face there, and I was like, "Okay, cool." You know, uh, this is this is not this is not entertaining. Uh, my whole thing with boxing, I don't really want to get punched in the face uh, or punched in general. I'm not really uh, like in the violence that much. My thing is just the the fact of which they're in shape, and it's a, something physical that I can do because uh, I don't do anything physical right now. Uh, my whole thing is to sit at my computer and play video games. So I want to get out. I want to experience the world more that's a huge thing that I want to uh, change about myself uh, I experience the world through uh, you know a mo- or two monitors on my computer it's it's not it's not what I, how I want to live so I'm not going to uh, and then yeah so boxing maybe Brazilian Jiu Jitsu eventually uh, I'm not sure you know I'm, I'm still you know going to Columbia uh, here in a probably less than a month actually I probably need to get a ticket now that I think about it, I gotta look at this. I want to spend two weeks down south, because uh, down south, so I'm in Santa Cruz, uh, moving down to San Diego, um, and then spend two weeks there because my grandma's uh, health is failing. So I want to spend some time with her to make sure, you know, you know, because I mean, if she she passes, then it's not, you know, we we know it's coming. It's just a matter of time, kind of. Uh, so I, I want to, you know, get, get as much time with that wisdom as possible. You know, just you know, hanging out with old people is not exactly what I like to do. Um, you know, that's kind of funny to say. Not, it, that sounded way worse than, you know, what it is. But um, it's, it's just, for me, it's about, um, you know, getting that wisdom and just, just knowing, like my... The, the last grandmother or grandparent that I have left is the one on my dad's side and uh, she's a black woman from uh, I think uh, yeah Louisiana she's from the south 
and she kind of was during the Great Migration north to Chicago, and that's how she met my grandfather, uh, from my understanding. Could complete, be completely wrong about that. Um, but the thing is that I, uh, you know, I need to, I just want to know her more, so know her better. So, um, that's a thing. And then I'm turning on this crazy thing right now. It's kind of crazy. I'm not going to be able to get out of this fucker. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, so going down there and then getting tickets to Columbia, or one ticket, I think it's a, um, you have to be, uh, I think you have to be a, uh, you have to have a, a return ticket, so I'm going to get one of those and then see if I like it, then if I like it, then I'll return, or I, I'll stay, if I don't, then maybe return or just go somewhere else. Um, so I'm just kind of chilling right now. I don't, I don't, I'm trying not to make too crazy of plans because I want to, um, I want to just kind of go by, go by ear with it, you know, uh, and, and live life. So anyway, uh, y'all have a wonderful day and I will be uh, uploading this and uh, hopefully I can edit, uh, edit the last or let it edit it a little bit to I'll see if I can do it on my phone um, and yeah uh, yeah so the two things I want to talk about yeah the addictions uh, you know to food and I want to get my body right and then also uh, uh, cigarettes and it's gonna be a long road so don't expect things overnight like I'm, I'm telling me my myself that not y'all um, don't expect stuff overnight and uh, yeah, it's just, and be easy on yourselves. That's a big thing. Just be easy. So, anyway, have a good day.